All right, students, so you've been working on your essay and you've been cranking it out on your iPad and pages. You've got your Beethoven going and your cup of tea, and now you're ready to make sure that you take care of those last little finishing touches. You have already made sure that you are using 12-point font and Times New Roman. And now the last thing that you want to work on is here you are on your second page and oh no, there's no running header. It doesn't have your last name or the page number. And you want to make sure that you do that before you turn it in. So that's what I'm here to help you with. So your first step in this process is going to be to touch this little wrench up here which will bring a drop down menu and you are going to touch document setup. Once you have selected document setup it's going to take you to this weird looking page that looks like this. It'll kind of take over your screen and you are going to touch and hold right here and you should get this drop down menu and you are going to select page numbers and you're going to select the one that just has a single solitary number like a number one and once you have done that and a page number appears you are going to type in your last name. Now I typed in student because the student in this example is random student so their last name is student. You will type in your last name. The last stage in this process is to highlight your running header and then to touch the paintbrush here and make sure that you change the font to Times New Roman 12 point font. Once you've done all of these things, voila, you have right here your very own last name and page number. So some of you may have already spotted that there is a problem in this system and that is that when you scroll back up to your first page, you have a running header on the first page which MLA tells you you don't need because your MLA heading already takes care of that. So how are we going to get rid of that? Well the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to touch that little plus symbol, this add symbol, and you'll get this drop down menu and you are going to select a box. Once you have selected a box you are going to resize it so that it is the correct size to go over your header like my example here. Once you have done that you're gonna while that box is selected you are going to select the paintbrush. The first thing that you want to make sure you do is that the fill color is white. Once you've selected white you're gonna touch border and you're gonna toggle this over so that there is no longer a border around your little box there. The final piece to this is if you go under effects you're going to want to turn that opacity so that it's 100 percent. Once you've done all of these things that little box will cover up your running header on the first page and you are ready to submit your essay.